Alrighty, and here is the video review for the McToys Giant Set C, the wheel loader and the mixer, or scrapper and mix master, as we know them as. And yes, you'll notice these are kind of green. Uh, these are the green versions. Uh, I didn't get the yellow versions to review, um, but I did, however, uh, at TFCon, they, uh, it's not out yet. Uh, you can pre-order them at TF Source. I know Kurt is expecting them. They're on the way. They're on a boat. They should be in in about three weeks. Uh, so mid to late August, you should see Green Giant show up in the States. They did release some in Japan already, uh, overseas. And uh, and there were some at TFCon. Uh, and I saw them there, and it wasn't something I was planning on picking up there, and I ended up with one anyway. So, uh, so let's so here we go. We're, we'll go ahead and review this last set of figures, and then we're going to go right into the combined mode for Giant, as well as a few changes for the for the uh, combiner set, for the gift set uh, that were made to the figures uh, modified from the original version. So a, a couple of my complaints with the original figures have been upgraded and fixed, so we'll, we'll show off some of those too. But yeah, here is uh, Wheel Loader and Mixer right here. Uh, they're weapons. Um, as you can see here in their hands are, um, they're basically mirror images of the ones that came with the dump truck and the crane. Um, and again, they form together to form half of that. And with that done, you can take this half of the gun and the, the like I said, the mirrored half from the crane and the dump truck and snap them together like that. And now this peg right here plugs into the weapons from, uh, Ex, you know, the, the excavator and the bulldozer, and that forms Giant's gun. And we'll get back to that later on, but there it is, and if you want to, you can slide these out and give it a... <laughs> da -da -da, honey Nut Cheerios. Anyway, so, uh, again, since we're going right into Giant, I'm doing these in reverse order. Uh, then I usually do robot mode, into vehicle mode, into limb mode, into giant mode. Um, and these guys I like. Mixmaster here or Mixer here may be my new favorite from the set. He does have almost kind of an anime face. And part of it is because he's got a couple of little details on the side of his face that make him look like he's got cat whiskers. I mean, with a pointy head. Uh, just makes me think anime. Uh, but yeah, there he is. Together, right there. Uh, he's very cool. Here's Wheel Loader. Um, and I like I like both of these guys. These guys are pretty fun. Um, he does have the the mixer on his back. It doesn't rotate, but uh, alas, oh well. Um, very very cool. Uh, we'll start off with with mixer here. Um, he's got a lot of nice like ball joints. Uh, he's got hinge shoulders. He can move his arms back and forth. Um, hinge and a ball joint here at the elbow. Uh, his fists don't rotate. His head is on a ball joint, um, and it lets you get a little bit of motion out of it. Um, up here, you can plug in a weapon up here. Um, and then ball joint, hips, swivel, knee swivel. And then his feet are actually on a hinge, and his heel is also on a hinge. So you can get some pretty decent posability out of him. Uh, to transform him, and he's got a ball joint here at his waist, which is kind of nice. To transform him into vehicle mode, you want to turn his head around and push it, angle it back into the... Looks like it's caught on something here. Yeah, there you go. Angle it back into the mixer like that. And then the arms come up. You want to flip up these wheels. Then the shoulder hinges collapse up and the arms rotate down and in. Like that. And you can hear them snap into place there. And then there's a couple little pegs here on his hands that peg right in. Actually, before we do that, oh no, this will, this will still work either way. And you want these little gray tabs here on either side. You want to squeeze these in. It is a little easier if you go before you put the arms in. Let's just go ahead and pop them out just to do that. So before you put the arms in, squeeze these tabs right here together, and that lets you extend the waist assembly. I don't know. Um, oh geez, we see all the way over here. Anyway, okay, well, we'll start over. So you flip his head around for robot mode. Um, there's a couple little tabs here on his waist that when you squeeze in, allows you to compress the waist for robot mode all the way up in there like that. And you squeeze them again, and it lets you extend the waist for vehicle mode. So again, you bring the arms up. There's a couple little tabs on the forearm that are going to peg right into here when everything is all said and done. You get them in the right position. And then the legs, you just want to flip the heels 
into the feet. These are going to fold up into there, into the top of the cab mode here, just like that. You rotate the feet around like this, and then peg them together. Flip these down. Tab the whole thing together. There you go. Tab the whole cab together. Uh, and there you have Mixmaster, and he can kind of turn the cab here. You may even be able to, maybe in vehicle mode, you want to leave them like that. If the waist compression, you just want to compress it for leg mode. So that, there's a mixer in vehicle mode. Now, wheel loader, you want to flip his hands in. Oh, okay, and this little piece fell off of, it fell off of him? No, it fell off of him somewhere. Okay, right here. This is a little clip that lets him tow the, uh, the generator pieces right here. Okay, so you flip his fists in, flip his uh, wheels over his arms, flip his head up, bring this down, uh, come back here, pull this whole assembly down like that, and flip this up like that. Now the arms rotate around and fold up, and they should snap together, like just like that, to form the wheel, front wheel wells here. Make sure it comes all the way over to form the wheel well there. The legs, the legs are the trickiest part. You rotate this piece around, rotate the waist around, open up this. Now the legs have a sliding mechanism. You actually slide this piece down so the feet extend. Put that down and open this up. And these are going to, this work gets crazy tall. Um, flip these open like this, and flip this piece around like this. You can actually also rotate his arms out of the way here. I'll give you a little bit more room. Come on up and around. There we go. Put these up out of the way here. You bring this around like this, plug it in, and then this piece comes around and over like that, and then folds in underneath. Uh, you want to keep that up like that. So again, take this, flip this up like this, rotate the leg around, then this piece is going to come down, kind of rotate around here, and then down and up. The covers legs again, keep that piece up, just like this. And uh, then this pull piece comes down in between the legs, which then it all tab together, and there is the rear of the vehicle mode. And these plug on right here, just like that. This piece stays up. The cab piece slides from his chest. You lift it up like this and kind of slide it. It should come all the way up. It's stuck on something. There we go. It slides up and covers that piece. Now this can stay up. The head flips in just like that. And then you want to rotate. If you look inside this gray piece, there's a little notch. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. And there's a little tab right here on the wheel. Let me see this, this little tab right here. And you want to rotate it up and around this piece and then peg that notch into the wheel like that. And do the same on the other side. You can rotate it all the way around if you want. You can just go around. It's on a ball joint, so you've got the movement. And then you just rotate this whole assembly up and around until the red marks are in the front. And then you just pull the uh, this part down. Again, get it all so it's all flat. There he is in vehicle mode. And then you take this engine here and plug it right into the back. And there they are both in their vehicle modes. Easy peasy. Now, Mixmaster uh, is very easy to get into leg mode. Again, if you, if you left this plugged together, which I think is a better idea for vehicle mode, squeeze this and extend that waist abdomen piece. It just pops out a little bit. You'll see the gray sticking out there in the middle. And then you just take, you grab the wheels right here, grab the bumper right here, and then just the whole cab comes up and rotates forward and down. You can push that back, and there he is, pretty much already in foot mode. Nice and sturdy. Uh, that waist piece gives him some ankle rock, 
So you've got some posability there with his leg. For scrapper, you want to lift this up, pop this engine piece off, and here's where it gets kind of cool. You want to rotate these pieces down and untab them, and you'll see where we're going with this. Untab them, loosen them up like that. Now this piece, there's a couple of pegs right here on the bottom. Here's the engine block. You can see a couple of holes. You take this engine block, peg it right there into the, uh, the back part of this, and then you bring these down and rotate them around so that this plugs in. Okay, you may need to bring them around like this. But basically, this pegs in here. Like that. Come on now. And then you rotate this up and around until this pegs into the uh, sometimes it helps if you do this first there we go up and down see this this pegs in here and this pegs into here and you rotate this again down and around like this until this pegs into right here and that solidifies the ankle brings this down and there you have foot mode You can kind of also bring this down to cover up the head. There you go, like that, to make it look like a, a piston there in the foot. And there are the two legs, just like that. Which then, uh, now they do have, when you clip them together, that here's the release tabs. Like everything else locks into place, you can squeeze these to release them when you're transforming back from giant. So then you just take the rest of giant and you just tab peg it right on snaps right on like i said locks into place there and then when you want to you can squeeze these tabs and remove the leg so we'll just go ahead and slap these legs on like that and we're going to back up as much as we can to see if we can't show off giant here There you go. All you're missing down here is the feet. We'll, we'll try to show you off anything. Now here's the completed gun, and when it's all together, you can see like there's some thinner parts here. There's a groove here on his hand, so when you take it, you actually can just slide it right in there. And even if you don't have him grip it, you know, wrap the fingers around so it grips it, it stays in that groove in the hand, and then you can just fold the fingers around it, and he's got his gun. Now, improvements from the original version. Uh, one, you'll notice he's got, uh, get up here, he's got a different head here on uh, his body. And he has, you can flip this up, you can see he's got some red eyes there, a different head. Uh, here's the head that came with the yellow version. So you do have the original head as well, and it's on a ball joint. You can just pop that off and pop this one on if you prefer this head. Um, this head right here has a, um, let's see if I can't get it in frame. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this off. Uh, for the sake of it. Um, so you've got this face. And one, he can open his mouth, which is kind of cool. You can have him in a screaming pose that's built in. His face folds up during the transformation in vehicle mode. But also, when you flip this up, there's a couple little tabs here on the side that uh, when you slide them down, you can see a visor pops out. So you can give him a visor too, which is kind of cool. So that's improvement one. You got two heads, and one has the visor. Um, that's pretty cool overall. Now, one of my biggest complaints about the original set was the uh, the crane arm on hook. It was permanently attached to his arm, and uh, really didn't work well. Um, and but now they've engineered it so this whole piece. Uh, can pop off. It, 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 it pegs on. You can remove the entire crane assembly. So in when he's in robot mode, you can you can peg it onto his back. It can peg sideways onto his back, so it just stores there. And here's the peg right here that'll go into his shoulder, so he can store it on his back in robot mode. You can attach it to either arm if you wish, um, as well as rotate it um, around. So there's that. Um, also, you can extend it like this. 
and if you want to pull apart the gun open this up alright slide this out where are they? just a couple little pegs here Hold on, let me, let me get the instructions here real quick. There's a, oh, here we go, right here. Um, he does also have the uh, the screwdriver bits here attached to the back of long haul, like I showed you, that can attach to the arms. Uh, I don't care for them, but they're there. Um, so, here's the crane, just like this. Oh, here we go. And on the other side of the crane, here's, like, you just plug this in. These little pegs right here peg into these slots on the underside of the gun. Just like that, fold this flat. And then, uh, again on this side, this piece of the gun pegs on to right here. Put it this way. Yeah, like this. Wait, no. Okay, no, I had it wrong. I had it right the first time. Mm -hmm. This is saying peg this piece, it's this piece, in right here. Okay, maybe just saying go this way. There we go. Well, why is that not working? I've got this. Here we go. Here's this piece like this. Take this piece with the panties this way and tab it on. I suppose this is supposed to tab on, but I can't seem to get it in here. There we go. There we go, like that. So you pick those on like that. And then on the end here, you take the two halves of the gun, split the gun in half like this, and then you peg them in to either side of the club. There's just a slot there. Flip these so they're facing out. And now he's got this giant, you can see it, club weapon that again, I guess you can shorten it too if you want. But now he's got this giant club weapon that uh, is also right here, wide enough or thin enough that it can slot into his hand. Oh, maybe it's this way. There we go. Yeah, it's right here. You can see there's a there's a groove right here. You can put it in his hand and slide it in like that. And now he can hold this giant. It's a little heavy on his arm, but he can hold this giant crane piece uh, as a weapon. So that's a nice little bonus as well. That now he doesn't have the uh, he doesn't have the the, the big crane piece in in a. Uh, Hook doesn't have it in robot mode, and and there you go. So th that's another just a little improvement they've made from the original. Is that now the crane becomes a giant weapon. Now, let's continue on to some uh, some of the fun stuff. And you also, you, again, you can fold this up like that, so it doesn't hang stick straight out the back. And I kind of like that as well. Go ahead and peg you back on here. There we go. Because uh, everybody wants to know size comparisons and things. Uh, here we go. Here's Green Giant. Ho, ho, ho. Put him right there. And in the size comparison, here he is with uh, Hercules. Um, here, I'll try to back up here. There they are next to each other. Hercules, clearly the bigger of the two. Um... Get that out of the way. Just stand them both up straight. So yeah, comparable. Uh, giant in the green mode matches the kind of yellow green of the G1 Constructicons a little better. Um, it's not exact, but it's close. Um, but they're really cool. And really, your decision really comes down to one price giant is a little cheaper especially if you order the gift set i'm sorry for the shaky camera here i'm trying to hold this steady as possible um giant is a little cheaper and um and then aesthetics um hercules i think is a great 
modernization of the Devastator mold and uh, you know design. And I, I really kind of like the way the treads fold up to become his forearms. And uh, you can store all the pieces on the robots, so there's not really any extra bits to form him. And it's, like I said, it's a modernization of Devastator. Whereas Giant, I think, is a really good example of applying modern design to the classic G1 look. So it really depends on you on what you choose, uh, what you're looking for in a Devastator. They're both very fun. Although, like I said, Giant also has the ability of it, it locks to everything that, even though it's more parts, locks together very well. He's very stable. Um, he's not going to pop apart on you. So there's that. Um, also, a real quick size comparison here. And that background's just going to fall. Let's not do that. Let's try to stand up. There we go. Um, here he is with uh, the San Diego Comic-Con Bruticus. Just to give you an idea of how they compare size-wise. So yeah, all in all, um, I gotta say, uh, thank you for the for the sample. Um, he's very nice. Um, is he better than Hercules? Well, I mean that's that's really up to you to decide. And uh, I think that's how we see if I can extend my tripod here and fix it, get this a little better. Um, I like him. I, I like him more than I thought I would. I especially like him in the green. Um, I know some people, if you like the G2 yellow, he, he, I mean, it's, you're essentially getting the same figure. The only difference is, I mean, look-wise, in, in Devastator mode, your yellow giant is going to look like this. Aside from being yellow, hold on, pop his head back on. He's going to have this head on. I think both heads look good. Um, I think it's a really nice app. Like I said, it's a really nice application of modern engineering to the straight up G1 design. And there's some neat stuff going on here. He locks together better. I think I wish this was a little bit, just a little bit wider. Um, and again, so yeah, as you saw in some of my earlier videos, some of the robot modes aren't quite as great as, uh, Hercules. Like I said, I think Hercules is a really good package overall. I like the robot mode designs. I like I like the updated vehicle mode designs, and and I and I like the transformation and the look of him in combined mode. Giant. I think some of the I think the vehicle modes are all really great looking. I think uh, some of the robot modes are a little weak, but having him in hand and completed the giant mode uh, is actually really nice. Um, it's really really nice. So up to you. Um, I've already gone on for like 20 minutes on this. I don't really want to waste more of your time. I'm not really wasting more of your time. You know what I mean. But here he is, um, the Make Toys Giant, uh, Giant Type 61, which, uh, as you'll notice, uh, says Giant Type 61, but the 6 kind of looks like a G, so it's Giant Type G1, if you, if you look at it the right way. There's a picture of all of them in robot mode uh, here on the front. Um, so, yeah. So there's the last set. Uh, there's the, the mixer and the uh, wheel loader set, and then the completed giant. Um, and I gotta say, he he's incredibly impressive in person. He's really it's it's, it's a really nice looking, uh, designed and built. I love the fact that you can uh, turn this. Uh, crane. I love the fact that the crane folds down, so it's not sticking straight out the back. Uh, you still get the look of the, of the crane arm sitting up on the shoulder without having a giant thing sticking out the back. So you can put him right... If you're on, he's on a shelf, you can put him right at the back of the shelf up against the wall if you need to um, without having that gap from from the weapon. Whereas Hercules, I, I like his crane arm. And, he, and again, it from the get-go, it could pop off and be held as a weapon or, or used in a different way. But... Um, but it does, if, if you have it up on the shoulder in the classic look, it does stick off the back, back of the bit. Uh, I do have the Rage of Hercules set coming soon, so uh, we can see if that adds anything to it. Uh, and we'll compare them again with the Rage of Hercules set on, which makes Hercules look a little bit more G1. Um, but yeah, a lot of good stuff coming up uh, this week. I've got the, the, uh, the Perfect Effect RC, uh, which is on the way. Uh, we'll, we'll have that review up in a couple of days. I got the classic Ninja Turtles. I picked them up at TFCon. They're really cool. 
Um, I got also got uh, on the way in today at Target. I picked up the Weaponizer Bumblebee and the Weaponizer Prime, so those are going to be coming up. Uh, so yeah, I took a break. I went to TFCon. I had an amazing time. So for everybody who was there, um, we had, went on the water slide. Had, just had a great time with uh, the whole crew. But now I'm back and I'm ready to get back in the swing of things. So uh, so yeah, take it easy. We'll see you soon. More great videos on the way now that I'm home and caught back up on sleep. So thanks for watching, guys. You you guys are awesome and I appreciate the support so yeah there it is but there it is a uh, green type giant uh type g or six type 61